All right, aloha and welcome into this. Thank you for being a part of our Paradigm Shift Central Conscious Media Co-op Production Meeting for Tuesday, January 9th, 2019. And of course, my name is Brendan, aka Mystic Spider-Man, Skull Babylon, Wolf, Wolf Shield. And what we are doing here, this is, like I said, the Paradigm Shift Central Conscious Media Co-op, where we are coming together as a team of conscious media creators to be able to help really make some world changing content to be able to help level ourselves up as individual creators, as conscious entrepreneurs, to be able to help get our message out there, to be able to help do our sacred mission, which is a very, very powerful thing. So of course, this is being recorded inside of our team chat and I am joined by several other amazing creators. So for everybody who is here for our production meeting, I'll just invite everyone to gently unmute their microphones and just say hello to the people tuned into this. So in the future, yeah. Okay. Gently just switch the mutes back on. Perfect. You guys are wild animals. For it. All right. So, like I said, what we're gonna do through here just. View. These production meetings are something that we're having within the co-op Monday to Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. The intention behind this co-op, the intention behind these production meetings is a chance for us to be able to check in, to see what we're working on as a team, to be able to connect as a community, to really be amongst that vibration of other people who are also on, on again, this like shared mission of becoming better creators and getting their message out there and for us to be able to share tips and trips related to content, related to entrepreneurship and for us to be able to get to know each other as a team. And so what we'll be doing, I'll just go over some basic overviews as to what the co-op is and what to be able to expect from it, how it functions, and also getting into some basic concepts related to the idea of media medicine, which is a very powerful phrase that we were talking about in our previous production meetings that were just not recorded. So for everybody listening to this in the future, we'll be able to bring you up to speed. Then from there, we'll go around the circle. We'll get three words from everyone on just what it feels like for them to be here in this moment, to be in this excitement, and also going around again for everyone to be able to talk a little bit about two things that they are feeling called to create. And then from there, we'll just get into some general chit chat and questions that you might have for me or the team. And again, for anybody looking to chat one on one, you will be able to access me in my digital office after this broadcast as well. So getting right into this, and I've explained this before, but the purpose of me explaining this again helps me because this is a very simple idea in terms of how the co-op functions. And that has always been that for me really going into 2019 has been this theme of simplifying things, you know, opposed to adding something more, it's a kind of about like taking out what you don't need. And through this, we've created a very, very powerful model. And so the conscious media co-op that we've created within Paradigm Shift is an exclusive platform. It's an exclusive digital space for people to be able to be a part of people who I've perhaps known for a while or who I'm inspired to be able to work with, who I know are going to be a good fit for the team. And basically the way how this works is that by being involved with this conscious media co-op, you will be able to work alongside me as a coach and a mentor where I will be helping assist you with learning how to level up your creation skills in relation to creating videos, video editing, video filming, writing content, creating cool posts for social media, such as Instagram, helping encourage you with like Instagram, Instagram lives and how to do that, how to, again, be able to give you some direction on specific ideas that you might have for projects related to how you can be able to attract more clients and earn more prosperity, which is a very, very exciting thing for all of us to step into because my intention in doing this is acknowledging that each and every one of us has an incredible amount of value that we have to offer and all of us deserve to be able to receive the prosperity by being able to provide that value as a service for other people and i know everybody here is very much and we were kind of joking about this before we recorded we're very much in kind of like this this like i gotta save the world kind of vibration mentality and oftentimes we do this and and I think a lot of us have been doing this where we've really been putting ourselves out there and out there and out there, but then maybe the model wasn't set up in quite a way where we were receiving the regenerative energy required to make it sustainable. So now we're kind of getting into the mindset of like, okay, you know, like what are some cool ways to be able to attract clients? What are some good models that we can create that will allow me to work amongst amazing people to allow me to not have to overexert myself and to allow me to receive more prosperity? So we'll be getting into that a little bit as we go. So by being involved in the up you get to work alongside me as a mentor which is again like that one-on-one -on -one private stuff here 
in the meetings online and in, in, in many formats. And that in itself is like incredibly valuable because that is my expertise. Like that's what I've gone to school for. That's what I've worked in the professional industry for, for media theory and production. And that's what I'm happy to be able to provide you guys with a service for. By being involved with the co-op, you will also be able to have your content featured through the shared platform of Paradigm Shift Central. So the main website, Paradigm Shift Central, I'm still doing some backend work on it. We're kind of in a recalibration phase right now, but once it is ready, and it's already like this, but I just got to change it a little bit, it will function as, basically you can think of it as a shared community blog, where what you would do is that for people in, the con in, this, mo in this community, in this co-op, you would have access to being able to post your content to this blog once it it has been reviewed and approved and through there it would be a promotion to be able to link back to your content and to your services now to dial into what it is that we are expecting on the main website this is very important because what it is that i want each and every one of us to be able to focus on is the idea of creating content that is intentionally inspirational educational and entertaining it should be a, a uh, like one or all three of those in some form or another. Now, of course, that what what I am also inviting you to do is to create any content that you really feel called to create, knowing that not all of it would be expected to be posted right through the main website. So you would have your additional channels for your Instagram and your YouTube and everybody involved in this, like having an Instagram and a YouTube is gonna be mandatory in order to be able to get the full value of what it is that we're offering because that involves us being able to link and promote and, and embed and everything everything like that. And so if there's like some stuff where you're like, you know, I really, really feel called to create for this, but maybe, you know, maybe this topic might not be quite fitting for the main platform. That's okay. I still want you to create that. And then you kind of pick and choose what you feel would be like a good highlight that represents you that again, invites people back into connecting with you. So everything that you post through the main website, you can think of it as that promotion. And then what I'm doing, the service that I'm providing by creating this space is also by helping curate this content so that I can reach further people by sharing it through my Instagram, by linking it through my bio, by sharing it through the Instagram stories. And of course, even posting it on Facebook, et cetera, and also newsletters. And so this is a very, very powerful model because through this, as I continue to grow my own individual brand, my own individual audience through Instagram, which currently is almost at about 15,000 on Instagram, which is awesome. And, you know, there's people who have been following me and they're already engaged with what I'm doing and they really like what I'm doing. So by me being able to say like, hey, if you enjoy what I'm doing, check out what so-and-so is doing, check out what my friend's doing, and we're linking right into your profile, then that's going to keep feeding more people into you. And then again, we're featuring your content through there, and you guys can help feature each other's content. So it's a very, very powerful model in that sense. And so that is really at its core what it is that you're getting. You're getting the education of me teaching you how to develop these skills, which is going to be coming more within the project. One of the ideas, just to give you an idea, is that we're going to be creating an exclusive package that will be basically videos that would be, you know, maybe like five, 10 minute videos, depending on what it is of me talking about specific things that will help give you some better insight on, you know, how to do video editing, tutorials on how to create a good blog post, tutorials on how to create good content. And it wouldn't just be the technical, it would be also like the mindset behind it and the philosophy behind it, you know, like, that's one of the things that as a as a creator, we always have to be thinking about, and we'll talk about more about this later, you know, like what is the value that we're providing the audience? Yes, this is also an, an authentic expression for me to be able to practice my own form of that, but what is the value that the audience is getting by reading it, by watching this, you know, because as a conscious creator, we really have to take a look at the media landscape right now and acknowledge the fact that most people's attention span is quite limited. So that is where what I'm helping you develop is that ability to create that engaging content, that thing that's going to be a pattern interrupt that will help you stand out. And that's going to bring people into you. They're going to help remember you. You know, like how many times are you scrolling through Instagram and everything looks the same? But then every now and then you'll see that one person that kind of pops out and you can really feel the heart that they're putting into it. And they'll just, and, and that, that will get your attention. You're just like, Ooh, I want to look deeper. I want to find out more about this person. So that's something we'll be talking about a little bit more. So again, by being involved with the co-op, you get your content to help reach a wider audience through our shared platform, through me sharing it. You get access to me as a mentor. You get to develop more of your editing skills. And of course, the other huge benefit of it is that by being in here in a co-op, we are 
helping each other as a team. And there is the option for us to be able to collaborate and share our skills. And so you'll notice in the team chat on the Discord, I've, I've set things up in a certain way that's going to foster this creative flow, where, for example, if you're creating a project and you're like, hey, I really need some music, does anybody have some music? you'll be able to find some music. And if you need some graphics, somebody can else can be able to help you with graphics. And if you've written something, somebody can maybe do some proofreading to be able to give you some feedback. So this is where as a co-op, as a team, it's very, very powerful where we're kind of sharing each other's skills instead of all of us having to reinvent the wheel and start from scratch entirely, you know, where it's just like, oh, you know, I'd really love some guitar in this, in this video, but I don't have five years to learn how to play guitar. Oh, but so-and-so knows how to play guitar and they've already released some tracks online. I can use those, I can incorporate that. And so to give you an understanding, and, and I'll just go through this in a bit and then we'll move right into the next part, you know, what we'll also be creating is a shared online library of files. This would be essentially a Google Drive. And through there, there would be folders and you, you go through this folder and through there you would find like standard graphics, standard music you know, animations, things that you could incorporate into your content that has value that has been supplied by community members as well. So it's very, very cool what it is that we're able to create here together. So that's essentially the basis. And then again, what is expected from individual community members, you know, this is where you guys, you guys get to utilize the space as much as you will, as much as you choose to. And of course, like what I've created, and those of you who are familiar, you know, we've created this model and I'm telling you this because I want you to echo this within your own work, because there's a huge message here about owning your vibration and owning your self-worth. We set things up in a model here where by people being involved with this co-op, we've created it so that people can be involved with a monthly contribution of 10 to $1,000. And so whatever everyone is paying individually for their involvement in the co-op is entirely private and knowing that that amount is going to be unique for different people because money has a different ratio for different people you know like $20 to one person might be $200 to another but for me being able to set it at that value of 1000 per month is me owning my vibration of acknowledging the value that we are creating that I am offering even as an individual coach and creating that space for the universe to be able to bring people who also match that and who can see that as well so in that sense, like it really is only a matter of time until there will be people who will be able to contribute that level. And again, for me, that that option of being able to create that opens up more prosperity for the team. And just to plant the seed, and some of you heard me talking about this, what I want to be able to create in the future is also the idea of being able to have like conferences, being able to literally like rent out a hotel for a weekend, invite you guys up to Toronto and have a conference where we're gathering as creators and where we're presenting our content. You know, we can almost even do like a little like paradigm shift mini film festival where we're like highlighting videos and things. So obviously, you know, these ideas are still kind of formulating, but the potential is there. You know, I, I see other people who are coaches and who are content creators and they're doing those they're, they're doing these retreats and things like that so that is within our realm of possibility and that's a target that i have for myself because yes that excites me yes there's value in that and yes in order for me to do that it involves me really stepping into my own value so that is just again an example of kind of like how things work here and everything and just again for everyone here so they understand how the reciprocation of that is expected and everything and, and again you know it's going to be different for everyone and and there are going to be like some people and and this is you know not putting names and there's no shame in this but there are going to be some people who are early on into their business endeavors and they're just like hey you know like i can only afford a minimal amount per month and for me that's okay because i'm here working with each of you because I value what it is that you're creating and I want to support you and I want to help you reach that prosperity that you deserve. And then of course, as you're leveling up your prosperity, eventually you'll get to the point where you'll be like, sweet, you know, now I can easily afford like 20 or $30 a month, you know, and then it kind of reciprocates this model. So it's very, very powerful in that way to be able to create that space. And again, you know, the one word that kind of relates to what we're creating as a co-op can also be thought of as an incubator. You'll kind of hear this term related where it's like a startup incubator, an entrepreneur incubator. That's kind of what it is that we're creating where people Kind of come here they work as a team and then through there they all grow and so everyone who's involved here essentially is in some way already an entrepreneur maybe if they maybe if they haven't even fully re called themselves that but that is what i feel is what is needed moving forward for the future is for all of us to be able to again be able to receive the sovereignty 
that we deserve to be able to fulfill our life purpose and our life mission of being able to create what we're passionate about and being able to provide that service for others. So that's like a very powerful thing. And again, I'm super honored to be able to help each of us continue to support each other in unlocking that, you know, that's super, super amazing. So again, you know, if I was trying to sell someone on what it is that we're offering here, essentially what I'm selling them is the, the, you know, is the idea of their sovereignty, their freedom, their creativity, their potential. So that's where you can understand that by being involved with this co-op, it's an investment in yourself. You know, by you choosing to be here, you're getting out of it what you put in. And so just as a quick thing that I just want to be able to mention, and then we're going to get right into the thing, because I want to always be able to give you guys not just m conscious media ideas, but also mindset ideas, you know, things that I've been learning through my own coaching experience from other coaches as well. But just to get you guys starting to think about a, a certain degree of things. One of the first things that I want to just be able to mention is that, you know, as a coach, if, if a lot of you here are thinking about being coaches and things like that, and a lot of you are, a lot of you are really narrowing towards that, which I think is very powerful because there's a lot of prosperity there. You know, there's this idea that what you are doing as a coach, you are essentially solving specific problems or creating specific outcomes. So what you need to think about is, again, what problems can I solve? What specific outcomes can I create? And so as an individual who's doing some coaching, that problem that you're solving might be helping somebody else get through their own self-limiting beliefs. That outcome that you're providing is helping them step into their own prosperity. So you can kind of see how like literally what I'm helping you guys with is what a lot of you are going to be helping other people with. And it's kind of like this ripple effect. And I think, and I want you to actually be able to learn and this is something that we'll get into later, but I want you to even kind of acknowledge the model that we've created here as a community and understand, like I'm, I'm literally giving you permission to do this because it's a powerful idea to think about how what we are creating here can actually be replicated for your own community. Say, for example, you're offering, you know, you're, you're branding yourself, you're a content creator, you're creating yourself as this leader of this micro community online, and you're providing your service as a conscious creator. What you could do, quite literally, similar to what we're doing is, again, instead of focusing on, you know, 100 individual sessions each month, which can totally drain you, and that's a lot of energy. What you can instead focus on is the idea of being able to bring on, like, say, 10 clients at a high monthly rate. So if you get 10 people a month who are paying like $200 to have access to you as a personal coach, that is, that's a bunch, you know, that's like $2,000 right there. So instead of like constantly trying to like get out to more and more people, if you just focus on perhaps the people who are already in your inner circle, there's value there already. And that's a big thing where a lot of us, you know, we get into this mindset where we think that in order to be successful as an entrepreneur, we have to have 10,000 people. We have to have 100,000 people. We have to have more and more people seeing our stuff. That's not necessarily true at all. In fact, it is not true at all. Essentially, you could literally have like 500 or a thousand people following you on Instagram right now. And out of that, you can and you will find 10 people who do want to work with you. And again, just being able to set that vibration, own your self worth, set that value. Just me saying these ideas for you, you're just like, whoa, like, you know, like I never thought about that before. Yeah, that makes sense. You know, like that's a powerful idea. So even in the sense of us creating this Discord server here, Nothing is stopping you from each and every one of you here from creating your own Discord server. Understanding the value. And that is something I'll teach you on. I'll teach you how to be able to set that up, how to be able to set it up in a similar format where you're giving the permissions, where you're giving the access to people on that level. And again, just from there, being able to really focus on like those one-to-one -one relationships, but also really focusing on what it is that you are offering and how that is going to help you be able to maintain your own energetic vibration that is going to serve you. And I'll just say this just for clarity, because I want you to understand it, because I want you to think about this for yourself, is that, you know, for me, what I'm offering each of you, I am offering each of you my expertise, like as a conscious media creator, coach, mentor, that is my focus right now. Of course, within that, I will be kind of offering in, you know, the spiritual metaphysical lifestyle perspectives. But I want each of you to understand that when you guys come into my office, into my like my digital office that I have available, it's with an expectation that you're not just necessarily coming to me because you're just like, hey, Brendan, like, 
can you help me work through some some shadow trauma? Can you help me work through, you know, like healing this like deep wound that I have from a relationship that I just got out of and stuff like that? And I'm not trying to say that, you know, like I, I'm closed off to that and, and I, you know, I want nothing to do with it. But there is just this expectation that, you know, that's not quite the energy that I'm offering. But at the same time, what's great about this co-op is that there are other people within this co-op who may be the better person to talk to, who may be someone who might be focusing on, you know, that like healing from past relationships, trauma or something like that, that might be what you feel called to. And maybe, you know, obviously that's come out of your own experiences. So again, you know, there's all these different kind of archetypes and healing modalities and stories that we as coaches can kind of narrow in on you know you could literally just kind of talk about you know i want to create a package that would help people activate themselves into being like a badass priestess you know or something like that or i want to focus on you know teaching people about like sexual transmutation or i want to help people you know like learn how to do like flowetry or you know and, and even just helping other people create as well so you can start thinking about that like what is the value that you have to offer because you do have that value and so what I was going to say, and, and again, this is just what I want to get into. There's always more to talk about, but I want to pass the talk and stick around, is when it comes to leveling yourself up, when it comes to being a conscious creator, it's not just how you show up at the computer. It literally is how you show up each day with a routine. Because when it comes to developing skills, it's not so much this idea that, oh, you know, like, how did that person get so good? How did they get so good? Like, oh, they must be born with it. There must be a God-given gift. The true answer is that where skill actually comes from, comes from routine and diligence. And that is actually like what you can start building at any given point. And so that's why, you know, for everybody here in the co-op, I am giving you this as homework you know, literally as homework to really start paying attention to your sleep patterns, really start paying attention to your sleep schedule, set the intention to go to bed earlier and to wake up earlier and get those extra hours in the day where you're creating a routine for yourself, where, you know, you're checking your phone first thing right away, where you're taking time to journal, to reflect. And I'm going to give you guys some journal prompts in the upcoming production meetings that are going to really help you lay things out and also to be able to meditate. And then again, you know, get some fresh air. These are all kind of obvious things, but a lot of us have kind of sunk into these weird habits where that's not where we're at right now. And that's okay. But once we start developing these routines, that, that pattern of how we wake up and how we go to sleep affects the productivity affects the mindset that we carry with us throughout the entire day and so again just creating this space where you know that you're amongst other people that are on the shared mission that are that are also developing these patterns and then i want this because you know i i'm in i'm investing my time we're investing in each other and i want you to be able to succeed in the best way possible so just being mindful of that you know what are these little tweaks that you can change and so one other thing that i'll just mention real quick um it, it, and again this will this will be a big thing but i want to mention this to you guys and give this to you as a homework assignment today actually is to start taking cold showers and i'm not telling you to take a cold shower for the entire duration but i want you to understand that the that the the purpose behind taking a cold shower is yes in addition to it actually being good for the body because it kind of opens things up and it oxygenates the body and it releases cortisol and it's like you know it's a very just kind of it can be like a boost like instead of drinking coffee in the morning if you were to take a cold shower you would essentially kind of get the same effect right but more so understand the concept and the mindset behind cold showers because essentially what you're doing is you are learning how to step into something uncomfortable with intention knowing that it's not going to kill you but it's actually going to make you stronger and this is a huge this is like this what i'm telling you is so valuable right now and this is where again you know like what i'm offering you guys is so so valuable so thank you for being here but understand that you know when you intentionally create stress for yourself then the universe will be less likely to throw unexpected stress at you so listen to that closely you know if you're just going about things super casual easy not really challenging yourself then one day the universe is going to throw you this freaking curveball and it's just going to be like oh my god i have to deal with this and there's no way of avoiding it but if each day you're kind of you know taking more time to exercise doing things creatively that's stretching your boundaries doing things like taking cold showers doing things that are changing your sleep patterns and your routines doing things where you're, you're observing your impulsive behaviors from the past these little things where you're kind of intentionally stressing yourself in a healthy way 
is actually going to help de-stress your entire life. So the idea behind taking a cold shower is literally observing how you show up. That is actually a microcosmic reflection of how you are showing up each and every day for your work. So if you can show up for a shower, and again, it doesn't have to be a cold shower the entire time, you know, start with a regular lukewarm or whatever, and then turn it to cold, maybe for like the last like 30 seconds, if you're okay with that, and then work your way up each day, maybe it'll come a minute and really breathe when you're in then that space and even sing, you know, we were talking about that before, where I was like giving you guys a homework assignment to sing in the shower, which is like all about like dissolving the ego, but again, really sing for the purpose of uh, also just kind of like keeping the breath moving when you're in that cold shower place. But again, use that cold shower as a way to be like, observe how you feel showing up into it, know that it's going to be uncomfortable, but do it anyways. And then you come out of it and you're just like, oh, wow, like I did that. I survived. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was. How does that relate to my own business? Because in our business, there's so many things where we're just like, oh, this is something that I don't want to do. This is going to stress me out. And, and we kind of avoid it. And, and we always make up excuses. You know, it's just like, why haven't you started your business yet? And it's just like, oh, you know, like, just because like, I, I don't have the money, I don't have the time, I don't have the, the coaching, I don't have the skills. But those are excuses. And when you kind of create the new mindset by taking cold showers, it helps you realize that it's just like, you know, those excuses, like they've worked up into a certain point. But now like you start taking more responsibility and taking the cold showers is you getting into the mindset of you really taking full accountability for what it is that you're creating. And you're just like, I know that I can get the work done today because I took a cold shower this morning, you know, and it's like I took a this morning knowing that I'm going to kick ass today and it really helps you show up. So this is something that, you know, I've experienced for myself and I'm giving this to you guys again, not just as a suggestion, but literally as a homework assignment. You know, I, I want to hear back from you as we go through this and tell me about how these cold showers are affecting you, just as an example. So there's a lot of other stuff that we're going to get into as we go through this, including somatic stuff, body work stuff, um, even just like being able to create personal kind of like mudras that are going to help you activate. Uh, those are going to be very powerful as well. And again, journaling things and all that stuff. So that's uh, that's basically what I just wanted to be able to share with you guys as it is now. Again, quick quick recap. The Conscious Media Co-op is helping you level up your skills as conscious media creators, getting your content out to a wider audience so you're attracting more attention and audience back to your services so that you can get more clients and unlock more prosperity, and then also having access to work with me one-on-one -on -one as a mentor to be able to help brainstorm and develop your ideas even further. And then again, that inspiration ripples out even further. So again, you can see it's a very simple idea but it's very powerful so that's all i have to share for now and uh, i just want to be able to open up the the circle real quick and then we're going to kind of go around once and just get three words on how everyone's feeling does anybody ha have any quick feedback right now before we move into that next part just just even just kind of like let me know even just how that felt and then again we'll kind of go around even more with like the individual words does that sparkle for you guys yeah, I'm ready for my cold shower, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Great on, Erica. Yeah, I'm going to try cool, that. Cool. Awesome, awesome. Cool, cool. Yes. All right. Like Perfect. Okay, cool, cool. Sweet. All right, everyone's on board. Okay, all right, so I'll just get you guys to mute your phone real quick. I'm, gonna, I'm just through the top of my So uh, starting off with, um, uh, Turner, do you have something to say? Or are you just unmuting by accident? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, so let's just go <laughs> start off with, with Erica, and then we're going to go to Turner, Jenna, Lori, Michelle, er, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Emily, uh, Pandora, and uh, myself, and then Summer as well. Uh, I guess that's, yeah, we'll, we'll just do it based on that order. That's fine for now. So uh, quick, what I just want to be able to do is just uh, just like three words on how you're, sh uh, how you're feeling right now, and then we'll get into like a little bit more, a little bit more of the introductions as we just go around and you guys tell us a little bit about what you're working on and again we'll just we'll just go through this really quick because we're going to wrap up this, this meeting in less than a half hour so erica aka one gemini go ahead and just three words on how you're feeling right now being in this space uh definitely feeling mo motivated again just guided um and also aligned that was my word yesterday you know mm -hmm. but I, i'm just i'm more i'm more and more just trying to like just follow because i, I kind of overthink and like what I got to do what I got to do so um, uh, the more that I kind of just try to stay aligned and, and I'm totally open and I'm receptive to it, whatever what, everything you had to say so those are my three words motivated aligned 
and excited. I don't know if I said that word already. But guided, I'm also very guided, motivated, excited. guided in line. I yeah. was say, I'm also cool. really excited. This is great. Awesome. That, we'll add that in too. Cause that, yeah, because that, that shower thing, I was like, wow, I'm kinda, I do drink probably too much coffee to try that. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Cool. Awesome. Thank you, Erica. All right. So let's just keep going. We'll go. Uh, I just want to say welcome to Donio. Donio, just keep listening for the next part and we'll get it over to you in a minute. Josh, go ahead. Three words on how you're feeling right now. I'm feeling very safe in this space. I'm um, I'm sensing like a, lo a lot of value from all the words you said. Like you just talked and talked and talked and it, and it all had meaning. And I wrote down another word. Grateful. Grateful. Ob cool. Observative. Mm. I guess cool. safe. Yeah, safe. Safe was a good one that kind of came out because... Yeah. Perfect. Awesome. I dig it. Awesome. Thank you, Josh. Dig that it. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's uh, keep going. Turner, if you want. And if anybody wants to, you know, that's okay. But just giving you the option to. Turner, three words. How are you feeling? Hello. Uh, like Shiwap, I wrote down some words too. Um, I said I was jubilant, stoic, and pickly. And um, <laughs> <laughs> pickly. Okay. Okay. Fair. I feel with this space, um, I feel really pumped. I feel really motivated. I think it's really important to surround yourself with people who are moving towards like this similar thing. And, um, you know, it's being surrounded by so many people who are creating something, who are just in this creative state of mind. Um, it really motivates me to continue with my work and really um, focus awesome. where I'm going. Awesome. I love it, man. And I, I, I like stoic. I, I, I think that's a very powerful energy for all of us to really feel that because stoic has a lot to do with kind of like recognizing our power. So if we can stand and we can posture, you know, stoic is like that. You're like, you know, standing strong type thing. That's a very powerful image. Mm -hmm. So cool. Awesome. Turner, thank you. Bow to you as well. So bow. Bow. <laughs> all right. Let's keep going. Jen, three words. How being here. I am feeling inspired, excited, and um, kind of just visual, you know, I'm really seeing, you know, everyone's work and um, just, I, I see it all happening. So Awesome. Was the third word visual? Is that what you Yeah, visual. Visual. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. I dig that. Yeah. We see it. That's the thing. Like we can see it in our mind's eye creating. Right? Yeah, so. for sure. I definitely see, I see everyone's work and, um, you know, so yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Perfect. Thank you, Jenna. Bow to you. All right. And Lori, if when you're ready, three words on how being here. Um, supported, um, production, and um, listen, listening. Listen. Cool, awesome, wonderful. Yeah, listening is absolutely very important. So I used to talk all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Both are well, important. Awesome. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Well, thank you, thank you again, Lori. So, bowing to everyone. All right. Okay, we'll keep going and. What are three words on how you So my words um, are amazed and uh, grateful, much gratitude for this, and also um, dharmic. The alignment that I feel is very um, mm. in alignment with a higher resolve and resolution, and it shouldn't surprise me, but like we're very much on a similar wave and timeline and path. and. Um, so listening to you was like a real recharge of like all of those things and an affirmation from the universe that like we're taking the steps that we need to, you know, to, to, to expand. And yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Wonderful. Happy to have you here, Michelle. Thank oh, you. so grateful. Skull. So many levels. <laughs> yeah. Yes. yes. Awesome. Sweet. Okay. Let's keep moving. Pandora, three words. How are you feeling being here? Go ahead. Uh, three words. Well, hi, I'm feeling high energy day which is really great which makes me feel more aligned and um definitely feel safe in this space but my other two words are productive and motivated motivated awesome awesome mm -hmm. wonderful wonderful oh can you guys still hear me right now just yeah yeah okay yeah perfect okay sweet okay and uh summer if you would like to share go ahead three words on how you're feeling being here today Okay, my three words I wrote down earlier were um, grateful and honor. There's Great. like a high sense of honor and um, 
like awesomeness. So my other word is, well, you know, my word, whatever, is uh, elevated consciousness, like a bubble of love. Mm -hmm. bloop, bloop, bloop. And uh, my other my other word section says, I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. Okay, I'm good. Perfect. That's good. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Summer. Yeah. And uh, just as context uh, for everybody here, this is kind of what happened in the past production meetings where I'm like really encouraging everyone to like get more into the habit of singing, literally just like singing in the shower, singing when you're walking, just for the purpose of kind of like practicing that throat activation, because that's going to be really key with any of the videos that we're making and everything and just kind of dissolving the ego just through that simple little practice. Every time that you sing is literally an investment for yourself. You know, it's kind of like you recalibrating your chakras in that sense. One thing I just wanted to go back on um, in terms of like visuals, because I, I didn't mention this quite at the beginning, but I, we did before we started the broadcast, is again, you know, for everybody here at this table right now, I just kind of want you to adopt this mindset that when we're showing up here, you kind of have this visualization of us being in like this very like, very like chill, lofty production studio. And right now we're all just kind of like sitting around this table and we're all just, you know, maybe like sipping our teas and just kind of sitting there. And some of us may still be in our pajamas. And we're just like having this like gathering in the mind where again the intention here is we check in get some inspiration share what we're doing share some feedback and then from there we like explode out again into the universe to do more work so it's very much this breath where each and every day we're kind of coming together when we need to going out coming together going out and again and just as contacts for these production meetings you know these are not something that I expect everyone to be at. They are Mondays to Fridays at 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but they are here for you to receive the value of. So if you're only able to make it a couple times, that's totally cool. And again, know that I'm always available in my office individually. So just reminding you guys, but again, yeah, if you guys, if you guys are here every day, absolutely, because that's just gonna help you kind of like get more clarity for what you might be working on, but just making sure that you guys understand that there's no expectation for you to be here every day, only when you're able to, so. Okay, cool. So we're going to go through next uh, just a little bit about, uh, you know, a little bit just kind of like who we are and, and maybe even just like a little bit of like what our focus is and also what it is that we're currently working towards creating. You know, what are two things that you're feeling called to create more of moving forward? And again, we'll just go through this pretty quick. We got about maybe eh, I'd say like 15 minutes ish. We might be able to wrap this up. So I just want to be able to share real quick uh, something that I'm working on. And again, this was mentioned uh, off the past broadcast, but I just want to re-mention it. One thing that I'm going to be working on in addition to like the back end stuff with recalibrating the website and everything, but for my own personal personal creation, I am feeling very called to be able to create 360 VR guided meditation. So my friend actually opened a really cool VR lounge here in our city. So he's like a super mindful guy. And it's like basically like this awesome place where the revolution is taking place. It's like this gathering of very powerful minds. So there's already some people there that I've been talking with about collaborating. But yeah, out of that, I want to create these little packages that are like five to eight minute micro meditations that are using computer graphic animation that I'll be working along as well as some other people. There's a super amazing creator uh, who isn't in here yet, but I'm in talks with him and he's looking to be involved with this as well. And then I'd be doing like the voiceover and again, just kind of working with the music that we can provide that somebody else within the community can help with. And yeah, I'm just creating like these very, very cool packages. Cause I think VR meditation is like totally this whole new frontier. So I'm excited to be able to explore that. And um, other than that, uh, I do want to be able to get into, and this is what I mentioned before, I want to be able to get more into making some like sketch comedy videos. This was something that I was playing around with before and I really had fun doing it. So that's something that I really feel called to do because I think there's a big, uh, you know, and this goes for all of us, there's a big opportunity to be able to use satire and humor and playfulness to be able to express some very powerful ideas. So that idea of like conscious humor is something that I'm totally totally interested. So that's what I, that's currently currently two things that I'm working on uh, at the moment and you guys already have an idea of who I am in general. So let's go around again and we'll pass it again just on the basis of the of the list. We'll pass it over to er Erica Gemini uh, first if you're okay with going next. So go ahead Erica. If Erica is there. So we'll see if Erica may or may not be there. That's okay. And uh, other than that, we'll we can go to we can go to Josh next and then Donio, I want to be able to pass back to you because we didn't get your three words as well. Um, but we'll pass it back to you in a second. Uh, Josh, if you want to go next and then we'll check in with Erica afterwards. So Josh, go ahead. What are what are two things or just tell us a little bit about who you are, maybe some of your interests. And what are two things that you're feeling called to create? Hi, my name is Josh. 
And um, I'm really just looking to uh, get inspired right now. I, I, I did mention that I wanted to create like a, a video where I want to just kind of send healing vibes out and just give different techniques on how people can kind of harness energy for themselves. But I was, I don't know, I, I made that post on, on Facebook yesterday and then I kind of realized that I haven't been active on Facebook at all. So I didn't get any likes or any feedback on what I, what I posted. And I just kind of realized that, you know, I, I need to be, to be active. And like, if, if I'm, if I want to get people online, they need, they need to know what I, what I do and what I'm interested in. Okay. So I really want to just create, you know, just more, more authenticity online if that's the word yeah i want to i want to create a more authentic online presence and i want to i want to continue with my offline presence because i i have been doing energy work with people <laughs> in person <coughs> sorry erica do you want to just mute your mic real quick i think she's walking somewhere go ahead josh you're good thanks erica. go ahead josh but yeah I, I just really want to you know be be more authentic and and work place more of like inspiration like i was talking to to jenny yesterday and she kind of pointed this out too that you know i need to focus from a place of inspiration rather than motivation because i'm going to get really disappointed mm -hmm. if i'm just trying to do things without actually feeling inspired to do them mm -hmm. and that really hit me so i want to spend a lot of time just just working on you know and and i want to i want to also talk to you a little bit about you know some things i can do and yeah maybe have like a one-on-one -on -one or, or something totally about all that totally yeah 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 for sure man and just some like again like and, and when we do the, this kind of check-in in the morning i'll give you guys some quick feedback and then we can always go more into one-on-one -on -one stuff a little bit later but yeah i i loved i love the idea of being able to create a video like sending out healing vibes and i think you know something like that could totally be upped in terms of production quality with a little bit of additional graphic work and some like really cool music in the background you know so mm -hmm. instead of it just being like literally just you sitting there because i think if unless someone's really invested they're going to click that video and it's just going to be some guy sitting there and, and probably doing things with his hands. And unless they know you, they're going to be like, Meh. but if you can kind of like, even, you know, think about kind of, um, kind of creating like a little bit of a mini script if you want. I mean, you've heard me do a lot of my meditations, but really package something into even just like a short, like five minute video where it would just be like, watch this video to get boosted that in a way that will be able to like help you through the rest of the day. And that's kind of like the value that you'd be providing with someone, you know, like what are they going to get out of your video? They're going to get out of the video, just like a little bit of that groundedness. That's going to just mm -hmm. give them a little bit more of that mental clarity to go throughout their day. And you could even package it in quite a way where you're saying, you know, like watch this video in the morning to help you throughout the rest of your day type thing and then again if it is just like with this extra degree of production value to it um which is something i can help with just in terms of like adding some extra graphics then mm -hmm. that's going to be something that will help stand out it's going to show people like hey you know this guy's pretty serious about what he's creating and he's putting the production value into it because he cares about it you know i want to stick around with him and again keeping in mind that and this goes for everybody anytime that you guys are making a video if you guys are looking to be able to attract like the clients the one-on-one -on -one stuff Make sure that you mention that at the beginning and the end of, the, of each video. Sorry, Josh, you want to just mute yourself if you're just moving around right now? No worries. And so, again, you know, just the idea of, like, mentioning that at the beginning and the end of each video. You just be like, hi, my name is Josh. I help people with activating their light or say, you know, create kind of like a little tag thing for yourself. And I'm available for private coaching. Click the links in the bio below. Let's get right into this. And then again, at the end, you're just like, hey, if you guys really enjoyed that, I'd love to be able to connect further. I'm available for consultation. Send me a message and we can talk some more type thing, you know? So you can kind of like set it up uh, in that way. Again, where every single video literally should be a lead for what else it is that you're you're offering. And, and again, and that's where I think the huge value for all of us is is the option to be able to do like the one-on-ones because that's where you're going to get like the big clients and, and the, the investments from the people who really do value that. But again, also going back to the idea of 
that online presence, you're right, that's very important. And I think everyone can benefit from from just being reminded of that, that it is about, you know, the relationship that you're creating between you and your audience, and not even so much the relationship. And this is where I want you guys to start thinking a bit about this, but also the story, you know, what is the story that you're actually building for them that takes place across a month and two months and three months. So instead of thinking like, hey, I'm just creating one piece of content for a post and it's just gonna be a thing and then I'm gonna create another post and then I'm gonna create another post, it's kind of understanding like how each post is actually leading into the other and how they're kind of supporting each other and how they're kind of bringing up these common themes. If you guys take a look at my Instagram, you'll see this where like for me, it's kind of creating this story where like we're building this team of superheroes and it's kind of emerging more and more and it's coming to the surface and people start seeing it and they're watching it and they're just like, oh, sweet, you know, like it's not just the exact same thing, but by tuning into this person, it's kind of like you're seeing a bigger story that, that's taking place. And then they become a part of that story. You invite them to become a part of that story. So that can be a very powerful thing. And just going back to the idea of Facebook, you know, like from my experience, Facebook does not serve quite in the way where it used to in terms of, um, you know, like posting in there on the regular. I think Facebook is good for like short posts. Uh, where it's just kind of like either asking a specific question to get people engaged and feedback and then saving it for your high quality content when you're ready to release it, you know? So like once you've got that video, like then you punch it out. But between then, you're just probably putting up like these little short, like just text posts where you're asking questions and you're getting people involved. Asking questions is always a great way for people to get engaged, you know? Even if it is like intentionally like a polarizing question, you can literally put up a question on your Facebook page, and again, this could go for anybody, where it'd be like, do you think energy healing is real? You know, and, and it's not like you're saying, I think it is this or that, but you're kind of like inviting people to talk about it. And then within the chat, you can kind of like share a bit of your own perspective, uh, again, without like getting sucked into, into it and stuff like that, but knowing that it would just kind of like create a little bit of discussion and discourse. And again, potentially interest from, from the people there. And then that leads them and gets them ready for that next video. But for everyone here, focusing on Instagram and YouTube is what I highly recommend. Those are the, the platforms where you're able to easily kind of cross-reference and direct the most traffic and to get the most consistent uh, engagement with their audience. Whereas Facebook algorithms are just too inconsistent. And that's why I've stepped away from Facebook, but I still use it strategically for a different purpose when, when it's meant to be used. So Josh, does that give you some ideas? <clears throat> oh, definitely. Yeah. Cool. Definitely gives me some, some more, some more inspiration <clears throat> on, on what can, what can cool. be right. Cool, cool, man. So yeah, if you're working on that idea of like sending out a healing vibe video, I mean, I think there's a lot of other videos that you'll be able to create as well. But yeah, you know, just kind of like figuring out even, you know, even the idea of you creating multiple types of mini meditation videos can be a thing, not just one type of healing video. So you can do like, you know, this healing video is focusing specifically on your root chakra. And then this one, your sacral, you can work all the way up through the chakras. And then you're kind of inviting each person to kind of do, you know, return for that next video type thing, right. knowing yeah. that it's a part of a series, right? So yeah, just short, short and sweet, I think is, I think is totally key. But yeah, I think that'd be some pretty cool content to feature on the main website as well once it's ready. So perfect. Thank you. Cool. Awesome. Thanks, Josh. All right. Uh, let's go back to Erica. Erica, are you there? Check in. Erica, I'm pretty sure you're there. So just try and, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm here. Okay. I'm here. I'm I knew sorry. you were there. Sorry yeah, about earlier. Hear you on mute. <laughs> my, no problem. my freaking headphone connected to the Bluetooth. I'm like, what? How? Well, but, okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Okay, Erica. So yeah. go, go ahead. Quick introduction. Just a couple things that you're working on right now. And, and me and you were talking a little bit yesterday too. So even if it's a recap of that, that's totally cool. Share it with the yeah. other people. It's kind of a recap. And I guess also like um, I'm also, I've also kind of just taken your feedback and kind of snowball that and use that as momentum. Okay, so my introduction, my name's Erica, um, in case I haven't, you know, some people haven't really heard of me um, in the group. I am currently working on kind of, you know, getting out there more and also being more intentional with what I already have in front of me, you know what I mean? Because I feel like there's no sense of me trying to do new things, but it's like, well, I could already work with what I have right now. Um, so it's like, basically with my dance classes primarily like just making sure like how you were saying leaving people with a message like that's so powerful so I think even like something as simple as hey somebody comes to my dance class and maybe at the end taking some time 
to, um, you know, really leave people with something, you know, whether it's something funny and then letting them know like, hey, no matter what, just, you know, don't worry about things because the universe is always going to support you in every single way that you need for it to, you know, like little things like that where people are just literally feeling so hopeless sometimes when they come to dance class, just hoping to kind of lift their spirits a little bit. And I want to be that light for people because I know that they need it because I need it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And so that's one thing. Another thing on the side of that is, again, going back to that co-op idea. And I love that you're so kind of just supportive in that, hey, y'all can duplicate exactly what I'm doing. Because it's just like, <laughs> yeah. I love that, you know, because it's not like it's going to be the same thing. It's going to kind of play. It's going to be a play on what you have going mm-hmm. on. You know what I mean? And you kind of really planted some seeds in me yesterday with the whole idea of, you know, incorporating that with what I already have going on with other creative minds that are trying to get their own thing going. Um, mm. Because there's so many of us that are looking for that. And it's kind of like we feel like people don't value us, you know what I mean? And so kind of looking for people who are looking for me also in the, in a way. Um, I feel like I, I've been able to attract. So again, really setting out with intention to find those people, I feel like has been a game changer for me because it's like someone just messaged me on Facebook and like, hey, I want to run some studio space. It's like, what? <laughs> you know? So nice. just creating some intention about what it is that I really want to do and um, understanding that, you know, like this community that, you know, literally Paradigm Shift Central, like this is the tool that ha- kind of has been missing for me a little bit because mm-hmm. it's 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 such a big play in, in everything that I have going on. So really focusing in on what I already have going on, and then also making sure that I'm support I'm I'm creating a space for other people, you know, to come in and you know also feel supported. And so that co-op, you know, membership uh, that's been something that I'm really like seriously. I wrote it down. I'm trying to break down, you know, prices and all that. So like currently um, with building my, my studio website and stuff, I'm trying to break down memberships so that, you know, it's like, okay, someone who just only wants to come to dance classes and then someone who's actually interested in taking value out of, you know, literally like how you were saying, changing their own lives and, and taking, mm-hmm. you know, control of it. Like, like, yeah, incredibly like aligned with everything. So yeah, that's my focus, just kind of focusing on those things and, and making it like, like concrete, you know what I mean? Like actually, mm-hmm. like what does this look like on a website? What does this look like? You know, what does it look like? So yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. That's 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 super amazing to hear. And uh, yeah, just as context, uh, Erica and I had a good talk yesterday. And and just to paraphrase, and again, I just I just want to acknowledge that I don't want to keep you guys here too long. So even just for everyone here, let's just keep things short and quick. Um, but again, Erica has got like a dance studio that she owns, and we were kind of talking about you know like how can it be more than a dance studio? How can it be a hub for conscious community, for supporting local youth, for art jams, for presentations? How can she rent out the space how can she create co-op memberships how can she brand this as being more than just something to come to dance but something where you're coming you're getting a lifestyle out of it you're getting the mindset out of it so yeah like erica i think there is like so much value that you have here and i think for you it's really just kind of like letting go of any of that fear where you're worried about it working and trusting that it will work and when you get into that mindset of trust you're going to allow yourself to make the smart decisions the first time and again really focus on just keeping it simple and i think that again that that goes for all of us so you know you kind of create this model that people can understand you're offering this value and then you're just kind of like moving the story forward with your media and your promotion and again that's some stuff that we'll be able to help you with as well so i'm totally excited to see like what where even just a month from now you're going to be so huge right on man i seriously appreciate you and everything like seriously awesome likewise thank you thank you as well cool sweet okay let's keep moving along uh i wanted to be able to check in with donio since we didn't get to check in with him earlier donio uh you missed the introduction but it was recorded so that's okay uh but again just uh in terms of three words on how you're feeling to be here amongst this team and then just real quick a couple things that you're currently feeling called to work on in terms of conscious media production so Donio, if you're there, go ahead. And we'll give a second, see if Donio is there. And if not, that's totally cool. We'll keep bouncing along. So if Donio checks in later, that's fine. Okay, so let's keep moving. Uh, Turner, did you want to go next real quick? If you want to. And if not, we'll... Yeah, oh, yeah. hi. Yeah, okay. Oof. Go for it, dude. Um, so some things I've really been 
pulled to call on. Um, I've really taken some time to myself lately to really focus on my direction of where I want to go. I've, I've been feeling a lot of scatterbrained really. And um, music has been something that's been really powerful in my life. Music has helped me so much in my life. And um, so I spend a great deal of my time listening to music and really uh, kind of having all these different connections and something that I feel really pulled to create, something I feel really called to create um, recently is kind of like how you do your conscious movie reviews. Mm -hmm. um, I want to do like a conscious lyric or song breakdown, Ooh, like really sit that. down with the song and have like a screen screen behind me and Dude, just like, yeah. you know, really enthus like enthusiastically like talk about these songs that have really helped me in my life and yes. kind of look at like the metaphysical like aspects of it, right? Because like an artist can sit down and like write their lyrics and stuff, right? But when they write it, it's just their perspective of it. Like every single person who looks at that lyrics, like, you know, kind of reworks the song in their own like ways. They really cr like reshape the entire song. So kind of going into the like, music with um, this mindset that you guys have really helped me develop. Um, I, I feel like I can kind of like take something new out of this music that a lot of people have listened to. Awesome. Um, as well as going into um, a different kind of uh, aspect of it and just doing vocal covers. Um, singing has yeah. been something yeah. that I love so much. I love to sing. And um, so I, I really want to like put that energy out there to like just really put my like, um, you know, my energy of singing out there and do mm -hmm. some vocal covers. Dude, that's, I love, I love that idea. I mean, you know, I'm a fan of like making the conscious movie reviews and I've never seen someone do like a conscious song review so I think that's yeah. like a whole kind of like niche that has not been tapped into and I feel like there's you know other people in the community who would be able to help assist with that in terms of like just kind of like interpretation and research and suggestions and stuff but dude that, that'd be a very very cool thing to, to be able to see more of so yeah yeah, yeah. I'm, re I'm really excited to pursue it cool man and and just uh again you know like I think what's really cool is that you know, everybody here on the team, they're, they're at a different place and they're kind of coming in with different focuses. And I'm not expecting every single person here to be like focusing on being like a full on fledged entrepreneur. There's going to be people here in the community who are here because they love making content. They love getting their voice out and everything like that. And so like even with, with you, Turner, and, and we can chalk chalk chat more about this later um this this i'm kind of feeling is more really just something you want to do because you want to do it but you're not really focused too much on like the monetization of your content quite just yet mm -hmm. is yeah. that uh yeah that's that's definitely um kind of why i was talking a little bit before about the art um that i wanted to do i want to leave my yeah. videos as more of like a, a way for me to express myself and then mm -hmm. have my art be something where I can, you know, also express myself, but have it be in a form that's easier to kind of convert into like a monetary value, so to say. <laughs> yeah, totally, totally. Yeah, absolutely. And, and again, you know, like with everything that we're there's a few ways that people are able to earn money online, one-to-one -one coaching, you know, client stuff like that, and then also physical items. And then this is something we'll talk about later on another broadcast, me and Turner were talking a bit about before, but you can get like this thing called drop shipping where you're creating, you know, your art for your t-shirts, your stickers, your books, your pillows, your dupes. And then basically from there, you're sending it into another website and you're directing sales and then people are making sales and you're getting proceeds. If it's done right, it can still be very successful. There's not like at the beginning, it's a bit of an investment, but it's also really cool just to kind of have as like merchant, again, just as another way for you to get your art out there. But yeah, with Turner, I think, I think just kind of like focusing on what you're creative, what you're feeling called to create, what you're inspired to create is definitely the right place to begin and then as you kind of start building your brand i think kind of like the monetization options will begin to you know pop up here and there so yeah, yeah cool cool all right awesome turner is that is that good for now we can always chat more later yeah yeah that's good for now we can always cool later. awesome man sweet and and yeah dude absolutely i, I want to be able to support you on creating the uh, conscious lyric reviews i think that'd be really really cool and totally like again like something that i would love to be able to have on the paradigm shift central website and kind of have you like be the lead be kind of spearheading that that'd be super cool so it's definitely gonna need some work in my production skills for sure absolutely absolutely yeah you want to make stuff like that like kind of like really you know clean and crisp and professional so that's definitely what i want to help with so cool awesome man thumbs up i'm happy for you 
Sweet. Okay, before we go on to the next person, I just want to be able to invite everyone wherever they are right now to just stand up and to just do a little bit of stretching. Uh, if you're on your computer, if you're sitting down, if you're walking around, if you got Bluetooth on right now, literally just stand up. Like everybody just stand up because if you're sitting at your computer, one of the things that you guys need to know is that the human body is not designed to be able to like sit in one spot for like more than 30 minutes at a time. We shouldn't be doing that. And yet we do it all the time. And the reason why we don't wanna do this because it's gonna like coagulate our blood and just kind of create blood circulation problems. And again, it just kind of like blocks off the flow of energy moving up our spine, which goes into our you know the rest of our body into our brain into our heart oxygenates oxygenates everything one thing i'll be talking about more with you guys later is the idea of the pomodoro method the pomodoro method is basically and you guys can incorporate this as soon as i say it it's the idea of working on things individually in blocks for 25 minute segments and then taking breaks for five minutes so when you do something instead of being like oh i'm going to work on this for the afternoon and then it ends up taking three hours what you can do is you say oh i'm going to work on this for like three Pomodoros and that's going to take me 90 minutes, give or take with five, with three breaks in between. And then you kind of set this container ahead of time and then you do that. And then if you don't finish it quite in that day, that's okay. And then you can like come back another day. But when you kind of create these uh, Pomodoro blocks, then it can really kind of change the way you show up to be able to do production where you kind of think ahead of time, you're like, okay, I have to create a post for Instagram. That's going to take me one Pomodoro. And then you really commit to that instead of it end up instead of it just being something where you accidentally just kind of end up spending like two hours on when it could have been something that you could have got done in 30 minutes, you know? So that's a big part of production. It's just kind of like getting into that flow where we're, we're you know, utilizing time even better. If you look up, uh, even look up tomato timer uh, on an app, you'll find some stuff. Uh, Pomodoro uh, is like the, is the word for tomato timer. It's a word for tomato. It, it, like that's, it comes from a cooking term, you know, like Pomodoro uh, is like the Italian word for tomato and they used it for cooking. So they would like click a Pomodoro and go for 25 minutes, give or take. Uh, the app that I use is called Focus Keeper. So you guys can check that out and I'll post a link for it into the chats as well. Okay, let's keep moving along. And again, just everyone, if you're not already, just kind of like stand up, stretch, release your shoulders, and uh, let's keep going. I know this is uh, going a little bit longer, but I do just want to be able to go through any everyone. If anybody needs to leave early, if you've already like gotten what you need to out of this, absolutely. Like you're, you know, if you're like ready to get going and start creating, go for it. And we'll catch up later. All right, Jenna, passing it to you, and then we'll go through a couple more people. Jenna, a couple things that you're feeling called to create. Go for it. Hi, um, so I am, um, I told you guys before, but I'm really being called for two things right now. Um, meditation. Um, I will be doing a full moon ritual, full moon meditation um, for the new full moon. I'm going to be inviting people into my homes to do that. I'm also going to be starting to do like guided meditations. Um, and I wanted to talk to you about that too, Brendan, like over the internet, whether it be like Facebook or YouTube, like actual live things that people can tune into. I'm also continuing to, you know, do guided meditations on YouTube. Um, you know, the last one I did was really successful, but I do kind of want to get away from the, you know, like watching me doing it thing because mm -hmm. no one's actually going to be watching me do it and you know maybe just having like a picture or a video um mm -hmm. but I don't really know about like the whole copyright thing and stealing images um and how to go about that and then you know with the music and like I told you before like editing's not my forte right now mm -hmm. uh but right now in this moment I'm really being called to maybe later today do a guided meditation on healing, a guided meditation on releasing trauma, um, childhood traumas, pains, sufferings, all of that. That's what I'm being led to do right now. Okay. And then I'm just gonna be continuing to, you know, focus on the meditation and all of that good stuff and you cool. know, my own healing stuff. Cool, cool. Awesome. Yeah, I I think it's always going to be beneficial and expand, mm -hmm. especially when you're kind of like focusing on a specific reason for that meditation again, you know, like what are people getting out of it? And also I know like Jenna for you, like there's, you know, there's like writing and stuff that that you're capable of incorporating into some of your posts and everything that can be very powerful as well. So I think, you know, with what you were saying uh in terms of the meditations, 
uh, that's definitely something I can help you with. And I think what will help those even more is just the ability of upping the production value. So, you know, maybe, maybe eventually that means like investing in a microphone uh, for, for your camera. Maybe it just means repositioning yourself so that you're sitting closer. Maybe it means just recording the audio from that and then putting the visuals on it. And then again, adding in some additional music as well. And um, you were asking about images in terms of copyright. There is a great website, which I'll just uh, direct to everyone's attention right now. There's a website called Pixabay. <laughs> Pixabay.com, P-I-X-A-B-A-Y.com, Pixabay. This is a website full of millions of free images, and you can run searches on things like sunsets and Buddhism and meditation, and you'll find lots of really cool spiritual images. They are all free to use. They're created by the community for people to use, like people and artists submit them, and I think they get paid, and then that is where they get the revenue. So it's a very, very cool platform. I've been using it for Instagram posts, and I would recommend people use it for Instagram posts as well as videos. So yeah, Jenna, I think, I think again, you know, like with that, I think there's a lot lot of value with what it is that you're creating and there's, there's a very important niche there and do you feel that you're kind of looking to be able to use your meditations to be able to move more towards um like one-on-one -on -one stuff with people is that something you're feeling called to do eventually yeah no so i'm definitely feeling the call of you know like moving into the life coach thing um yeah. and starting with you know the meditations getting myself out yeah. there like i okay, said cool. um i'm going to host this full moon guided meditation ritual mm. um, at my house January 21st um, cool. for the full moon. And that will kind of just like be my opening. Um, and then, you know, once I get myself out there, um, you know, even my best friend, she called me yesterday and she said, I got it. You got to do meditations. And I'm like, I already know this, Christina, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but, she, but it was just like, a yes, like, thank you for confirming that with mm. me. You know, so I I know that's where I'm being led. And then from now, you know, that opened me up to, you know, all of my desires and dreams. But it is yeah. baby steps. It is baby steps. And, and, and again, for anybody here involved, production i'll always remind you guys that like every single piece of production that you're creating is helping level you up for that next one that you're going to create that's going to be even better you know and that was essentially like when i started doing you doing youtube videos of me doing like skull babylon stuff when i started that version of my youtube videos in 2011 i was you know i was doing it because i wanted to do it but i i was doing it because i knew that that was training to get me ready for like the bigger videos down the road where i would be you know on my skateboard doing a journalist report of like a rally taking place you know and i needed to know how to show up for that space so in the same way you know you're creating your videos now you're creating your meditations because you're getting better at making med meditations every time you do it. You know, you're crafting that skill. And again, this is the idea of what we were talking about earlier, where like skill comes out of routine and diligence. So if you're making a habit of even just producing one meditation video a week where you're showing up for that space, you're creating that container where you're like, hey universe, I'm gonna create these meditations once a week and you commit to that to the best of your ability, then the universe is gonna help kind of channel that energy into you creating that. And then just like, that's where you get that support from. So once you kind of like really you're really feeling it in your heart. You're like, yeah, this is what I want to create. And you kind of commit to the diligence of it. Then every time that you're investing, every time that you're doing it, it's an investment in yourself. And that's increasing your value. That's increasing your, you know, your, your ability to be able to get your message out there. And yeah, you know, it, it's something that for any of us here, it's something that's going to take time. And, and, you know, I encourage all of us here for, for the purpose that we're doing this, which again is about helping change the world and helping change people's lives. We have to be in this for the long game. You know, we, this isn't just something where it's just like, oh, I'm going to try it for a month. And then if it works, it works. You know, if it, if it doesn't work, then you change what you're doing. But you, if you're really here, and I know all of us are for the soul mission, the sacred mission, then we know that it's something that is going to involve patience, but that doesn't mean that it's not going to be fun. So we're kind of already beginning to feel the excitement of where we're going to be in five months from now, right now. And, and we know that the work that we're doing is like getting us ready for those big steps. So yeah. And Jenna, and again, like working with the kids and everything like that, I think that's always absolutely incredibly wonderful. And I think um, even for you to be able to collaborate with some of the people in here, I think would be very powerful as well. And we can talk more about that later. Thank you. And what is that? Um, it's Pixabay. Pixabay? Pixabay. Yeah. I'll I'll post it I'll post a link in the okay. notes afterwards. P I X A B A Y dot com. Pixabay. So even I for anybody listening. I use it all the time. It's amazing. Laura, you already use it. Perfect. There you go. So cool. Awesome. Jenna, thank you again.
let's keep moving. We'll pass it to Lori, and then we still got Michelle next and a couple other people, Pandora, Summer. Uh, Lori, go ahead. A couple things uh, you're feeling called to work on. Okay, so I'm really starting to get my light to be in the community and help teens. I'm also honoring that I feel myself um, spending less time with my family, so I'm reminding myself, no, <laughs> I got to spend time with my family too. And um, the content that I'm creating, I have uh, a bunch of hats, but um, creating a spotlight for teens in South Florida, that's where I'm from, to showcase um, their art, their writing, and um, I'm very excited about that. Mm -hmm. And um, Turner, I love that music. Like I intuitively mm -hmm. get music and I repeat it over and over again without understanding the lyrics. And then the past couple of years, I've been starting to listen to these lyrics of songs that I used to repeat. And I'm like, holy shit, I got it. I got those words. And so I made a whole photo series based off of a song that I used to repeat, which was a really dark time. And I decided to turn it into, like you were saying, interpreting through your words, how we rework the words. I love it. I made a photo series about a song. Um, so also getting my art out there and getting paid for it. Because I always make art. I'm an artist. But now I'm ready to share it and make some money. So i awesome. um, working on showing up to places where I could showcase that. Awesome. Sweet, Lori. Thank you. And for, again, you know, just the idea of like being able to work with, with teenagers and youth, that's yeah. so, so, so powerful. And right now, like something where you'd be looking to be able to have clients, you know, like people who are paying you to work with their, with their, with their kids and stuff like oh, that. Yeah, that right now they're at my for? house. Yeah. Right now I have uh one, but I've had like, you know, 10 at my house it, mm -hmm. and I have, a um, I just put out a, a, a nice ad and I got feedback right away. I paid for an ad. Nice. Um, I want six people, six teens around my wooden table working. Like I like small numbers. Cool. Cool, yeah. Cool. Yeah. And is that something I, I see the self coaching already... coming? I was already doing that, but, um, right, yeah, yeah. But coaching so, is something, go ahead. yeah. Oh, sorry. No, I was just going to say like, so with the working with the youth and stuff like that, do you already have revenue coming in from that? Well, yeah, I was an art teacher for 17 years. So it was a constant revenue, but that's different, you know? So now it's more of an entrepreneur mindset. So mm -hmm. I'm trying to create content that I could then sell forever. That I don't have to like lesson plans and yeah. live videos. Like, but there's so many beautiful ideas. I just got to, what was the word that someone used? Diligence and really mm -hmm. owning up to the things you're focusing on. Mm -hmm. And and so, and, and again, I'm clarification. So like the kids that are even at your place right now, are yes. you making money from them being there? Like oh, someone yes. Paying... yes, 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 yes. Okay. I, get, I make like but 40 an hour. More... Okay, so, but you'd be looking to do more of that and stuff. Yeah, even online. Yeah. Like I see myself walking online. in the neighborhood there talking to someone that's... coaching. I see groups, yeah. Yeah, yeah so that's probably yeah, of course, like, they follow yeah. forever. If you yeah. haven't tapped onto like the online aspect of it, I think that's like, that's really powerful. And again, I think and that's like, overwhelming, overwhelmingly wonderful, that whole concept, mm -hmm. how to set it up, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Yeah. And, and, you know, this the is just kind of, um, have you thought about the idea of providing one-on-one -on -one coaching for parents of youth who might be going through, you know, just looking for guidance related to like their own kids, spiritual insights and stuff like that? Yeah. That's, I'm not called to do that yet. Okay. Okay. Not cool, at all. Cool, cool. No, it's more the teen. Yeah. More the teen specifically. Cause yeah. I just feel that like, if you are looking to work with the teens, essentially you're mm -hmm. also promoting yes, your I advertisement to, to, <laughs> to yeah. their parents. You know? Of course. This so is the, the parents caveat. are kind of, yeah, the parents are kind of the, the target audience and it's like with their permission that they kind of get the teens to work with you. So I feel like there Correct. would be the natural process where you're you know, you're kind of selling the product to the parents and then the parents yeah. kind of decide if they want to invest the kids. So I guess having that expectation to be able to like have those phone calls and just kind of explain to the parent mm -hmm. how this is going to help their kid. And again, you know, like what is the value that you're selling? Essentially, you're, 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 you're helping the kids, you know, develop more confidence to release, yes, that, you know, to, to <laughs> mitigate anxiety, to be able to get more clarity mm -hmm. and inspiration to have that coaching mm -hmm. and See that mindset. Yeah. So so that's mm -hmm. very valuable. That'd be very valuable for a parent, especially, you know, if they're just like, how do I, you know, like I, I see my kid going one way and, and I want to be able to help yeah. them. Well, you know what? That's a good that, point. So. I could maybe be part of groups that are already happening and team up with a psychologist or who has parent groups or blah, blah, you know, something like that. Mm -hmm. And I could be the guest. There you go. 
yeah, that, that could be a thing too. Yeah. And um, yeah. again, we'll talk more about this later, but like okay. the idea of creating uh, like a package that you can also sell. And again, that would, that would be, again, like, I feel like that would also be like, again, like kind of like for the parents and the youth at the same time. And, and so you're kind of like, because again, you, you almost have to like, it's going to be the parents who, that are going to buy it, but it could be something yeah. that they would, that they would watch with their youth or perhaps even just some videos that they might watch by themselves or something like that. Cause yeah, like I, I just, um, but yeah, the idea of creating like a package that, that you could provide and, and have that tied in with your coaching as an option, that'd be really powerful. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Thank you for your time. <laughs> cool. Cool. Okay, cool, cool. I'm excited. about. That. So awesome. Lori, thank you for everything. You so thank you sweet cool okay let's keep moving along and a couple people jumped out and that's cool because i know they're busy so michelle go ahead you can share a couple things that you're feeling called to create as a as a creator and michelle if you're there just let us know and yes hello Perfect. i was trying to hello. figure out how to unmute myself <laughs> um thank you for this new platform and for the coaching that you've invested in so that we can all benefit from it as a community it's so beautiful because mm -hmm. um for myself i yeah so god okay um it's definitely a new turn of the spiral for me energetically and it's a lot of things have synergized like i'm feeling more confident you know about my gifts and my ability to to teach and heal others and i think for a long time my journey was like synthesizing with that part of myself and now what i'm focusing on is expanding my outreach so that i can um really interface with a community where i'm being fed by them you know, financially sustainably um feedback wise as well like actual communication with the community and that i'm reaching them with my healing gifts so i feel like i'm in my dharma and there's a really sustainable exchange there which you which you touched on um so much mm -hmm. in your introduction um so practical ways that i'm looking to achieve that and create that for myself and then this is kind of where my work comes in is that i need a model for my practice and my business. And mm -hmm. because, you know, I, and, and I'm also changing the scope, you know, I was infinite everything for so long, which wow. was beautiful, which was beautiful <laughs> attuning to the cosmic energy. Yeah. It's like where I was in Michelle infinity in my twenties. And we went through that whole journey together where we mm. were like, Whoa, astral consciousness. Like I'm super connected to that. And now it's really about grounding and practicality and specificity. And I went through my, 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 um, my, what are they called resolutions this year? And I really asked for like the ability to take practical steps and to like hone in on like, what is specifically, where can I focus? And then how do I build my business in a way that is, or give me the tools that I need in order to create the models or the packages and even just having the daily like what you're talking about with this group a rhythm of like coming to the table and creating that content in a mm -hmm. practice that is sustainable and that consistent and that I'm getting feedback from an audience so I don't get discouraged and feel like I'm doing it all for naught or wasting all of my energy on all this expansion and then not actually having some kind of follow through or payoff for it so um the biggest thing that I want to create for my future this year is an online business model mm -hmm. where I'm in complete management of my own time so that I can travel and be a musician and do sound healings at festivals and not have to be tied somewhere because mm -hmm. that's the direction my life is going. But as we know, when you're building like a budding sound healer musician, like you need other sources of income you know we don't make a lot of money from kirtan but we make money from coaching and so mm -hmm. how do i move into and i have so many healing gifts and resources and something that i've really overcome i think much like you in the work in your inner journey over this last year is like i haven't wanted to be gauche and like i want it haven't wanted to like promote it's been really a turn off watching our friends who have like and not even our friends, but just people like that, that build of like super marketing being like a, I'm a coach who helps coaches and da -da, like that, sh like kind of sleepy pitchingness. And so I'm finding my own balance of it. And I've been asking the universe, what is my dharmic approach to use social media 
and my partner actually has really me and him talking, um, which I have a new partner, which is like changing my life in a huge way. Who's like this beautiful masculine mirror of me, which is awesome. Um, of like, how do I actually create beauty with social media and communicate my message? But like for me, creating beauty and being a light is very important. So I've stepped away from advertising like these deep, rich wisdom in like healing space that I can provide for others because I haven't wanted to do it in a way that feels inauthentic. Um, mm -hmm. And yet I'm, that's not served me either. So how can I, because then nobody knows and then I'm not, um, avail I'm not showing up to my community. Mm -hmm. And it's very necessary that I do that, but I need to do that in a dharmic way. So now that I've healed the inner, a little, you know, taken steps further into that alignment, attunement to that walk, and like really seeing my value deeply of like what I can provide and how I show up as a teacher. Um, I've started teaching yoga again, and that's really helped me like have that authority, that inwardness of authority. Now I have to think about like, and it's still formulating, which is interesting, but moving away from this archetype that I created of Michelle Infinity, this like cosmic -y space elf, if you will, and like, how can she, and you met me as that, right, archetype, where I was where I actually yes. wearing the ears, you know, and like, yeah, and like, so that was her, and then like, I have this other ancient wisdom teacher self, and something that I've been, that's been like downloading into me and percolating is like, I've seen like these insight app meditation timer, and people who have content where they're focusing on creating meditations, creating articles and reading poetry. And my voice is very healing. You, you too, Skull, we have these things. And so I want to read mystic poetry and have recordings and have an album that, of mantras that I've been singing and doing sound healing. And my real focus this year is to anchor in these, pro these projects and to have the discipline to create them so that I feel that I have a foundation of actual tangible artifacts of work that like anchor the cosmic into the earth. And then from that platform, I'm also taking clients so that I can have an income where that I'm creating my schedule and sustainable so that I can go off and teach and heal and travel and everything's being provided for. So that's what I'm moving into this year awesome. with your help. Uh, which is really cool because that's unexpected <laughs> and surprising yeah. and we're very much a lot I'm surprised but like I'm like I said the last that two days fun. like doing intentions mm -hmm. and then like this happened this morning and I was like wow <laughs> so <laughs> I'm grateful yeah. to like work to speak to you one-on-one -on -one about everything I just shared mm -hmm. and like and like really find ways to fine tune so that we can help yeah. each other grow and achieve what is possible yeah, yeah no thank you thank you for just for like sharing and for being here yeah i mean like you said we've known each other for like uh, i guess like seven or eight years now give or take or five years or i don't know 500 years a long time. <laughs> are you writing <laughs> anyways but, um again you know like i i you have a lot of value in, in, in what you bring and, and i say that to everyone and i legitimately do mean that with everyone but it's been really exciting to be able to to, to work alongside you in the past already as a creator and to be able to see what you've shown up with in the past in terms of your article writing, in terms of your video, in terms of like you already have uh, the ground underneath your feet when it comes to understanding like media and everything in terms True. of like past work and everything. And so like, I guess, you know, with the, if that's your goal, you know, to be able to like travel, to be able to create content like on the go and everything like that and to still be creating that income and everything. I think, uh, again, you know, like for me, like the model, can, is pretty much like what we've already talked about and again that's because it's, it's logical and everything but being able to do like those like you know having those having those few clients on as a monthly basis to be able to work with you privately for a specific purpose if that's something you're feeling called to like is that something that you're you're leaning towards like are you looking to really focus on the one-on-one -on -one yes very much people have been mm -hmm. sharing with me that i need to create so and this is where i need your help actually because mm -hmm. my brain is this infinite everything brain mm -hmm. and so how do i create these co like and it's funny when you spoke today about like you need this many clients i've heard that from i have coaching friends who have told me that mm -hmm. but something about your voice telling me i was like mm -hmm. oh 10 people okay like it clicked a little bit deeper. And so these are the packages that I need to create. I have a lot of, I've been doing a lot of womb work um, with women and priestess 
circles and people have been asking me to do vo voice coaching with them and vocal empowerment. And mm. um, my honey actually set me up with a woman who's a kirtan artist in California and I'm going to be doing a co up um, a class with her. She's setting up a container with like 10 women who are doing ongoing. So I'm like actually going to be taking what I meant to be teaching from March to like May of this year. And then hopefully like next year, I'll create this other, um, I've been feeling a lot of online courses are, are coming in the future because I have a teaching background. And, um, but I do want to, I don't exactly have a, I, it hasn't come in a vision yet very strong, except I know that the vocal empowerment work and mantras and all of those things are supposed to happen. Mm. And I know that ultimately I do a lot of healing work and open people up into their, like to get them centered into their heart space and listen to their hearts. Mm -hmm. um, that was a theme from my last, when I was doing this, like in the first cycle, you know, yeah. the first chapter of us. Um, and then now I don't really know, and I don't know even packaging myself. So these are things that I'm, st I'm, I'm working on at the moment. And I'm wondering yeah. like, how am I going to put myself out there to attract these people? And all of this kind of feels like things I need to hone before I yeah. do it, because I don't want to put myself out there as a mess. I want to put myself out there with Absolutely. a really concrete focus. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and again, you know, where like, even for each of you who are here right now, honor the fact that you've chosen to be here because this is you making that investment in yourself because you know that you value like being able to learn new skills and so that you can turn it into like even more powerful content. And in the same way, you know, like for anybody here, if there's like something else out there that you feel called to invest in, in terms of like other types of coaching or some other course and stuff like that, that you feel is going to help level you up really, you know, go for it. Like if you can afford it, go for it. Because again, you know, like that is an investment for yourself. And it also really sends out like a really powerful vibration to the universe to just be like, yes, I am showing up for this work. And fact is like, yeah, we need, we, there are skills that we are still learning and there are skills that other people have really gotten like a good hand on, a good handle on. And if they're able to like share those with us, then like that can totally just like bring us up to a whole nother level. And so, I mean, I think with you, Michelle, and, and we'll just, you know, we can chat more about this later because I just want to move through the rest of the meeting and everything real quick. But, you know, I think with you, like, I, I really think that, like, you already have, like, this value in the fact that you have, like, a wide variety of skill sets. And I think mm -hmm. being able to honor that is, like, part of what your value is. But at the same time, being able to focus the package that you're developing on something very specific. You know, so instead of just being like, hey, talk to Michelle to talk to Michelle, it's like, again, you know, talk to Michelle to activate your priestess or something mm -hmm. like that, or, you know, or again, maybe like it, it, you could eventually be talking to people about helping them activate their own business and stuff like that. Because it's, it's really kind of weird how like a fractal you can observe what's actually happening, how like coaches are teaching coaches to teach coaches to teach coaches like yeah. it's kind of but that's actually what makes sense when you think about it because i think you know that's the model of all of us kind of activating into the student teacher archetype and really honoring that and honoring the fact that all of us have the have the potential to be that teacher you know so giving people the tools to be able to like get into their own prosperity is so powerful right now but yeah i think i think for you like you know kind of not being afraid to kind of narrow your focus here and there, but also honoring the fact that like, there's a lot of value that you have in your variety and also just kind of like allowing that variety to kind of help you explore further reaches of creativity that might help you stand out even more as a content creator. And, and again, you know, that's where I'm here to help with where, you know, and, and essentially I say this for everybody in the community, but I'm going to be giving you guys an assignment that would essentially be like a poetry video you know, where like, I'm going to encourage you to like write a poem, go out, get some footage, and then we'll edit it together. And then again, someone like that, they're going to see that they're going to be like, wow, okay, this person put into editing this. And it was really inspiring. And it really touched my heart. And I want to stick around, you know, like, I want to like, again, that's the power of content. When you create powerful content, you create that ability to be that pattern interrupt where people will notice you plus that invitation for them to continue to be a part of that shared story. So instead of it just being like, Hey, this is what I'm creating. You really make it about like the, the relationship with the audience as well. So again, that's where like every video, you're just like honoring them for being there. You're just thank you so much for showing up. And, and yeah, and naturally I think things will just evolve. And we, again, we can talk more about kind of, 
you know, sit with it for a bit and just kind of even write out a list of like, you know, if you were to create a coaching package, what do you feel are like 10 things that 10 themes that, that you feel called to be able to help people with, and then kind of like narrow that down to three, knowing that even if you start off with one package, you could eventually change it and turn in and create another package down the road, you know, okay. where you could be like, this one was, you know, like one about, you know, just like getting into your creative flow or something. And then like this one could be about like tapping into your ancestral wisdom or something like that, you know, oh, I like that. so something along those lines. So, you know, just allow yourself to kind of get into that brain state mode, but then kind of like narrow that list and then just sit with it for a bit and talk to me a bit more. And we can kind of like begin focusing in on like what would be a very powerful program that you could offer. That would be really beautiful. I would appreciate that help. And then um, I just want to say one more thing is that um, I love that you said Instagram and YouTube because I felt very called that those are my platforms because they're mm -hmm. visual. And like, mm -hmm. so that was really in alignment with what you're sharing. Yay, yeah. thank you. I'm excited. Cool. Okay, cool. I'm excited for you too. Awesome. And, and I know there's a lot more to talk about. So we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll talk, talk soon. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, cool. Thank, thank you, Michelle. All right. And we'll keep moving along. Pandora, would you like to go next? Um, yes, I'll go next. So my, um, my focus right now, um, for the week is to actually, I have a goal to have, um, two videos up by the 18th of January, like two up on, um, I want to have them on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Um, okay. And then also I need to figure out if I can even do that, if I can even post them on my, um, on my actual website. Um, eventually I would like to start getting stuff up there. Um, cool. But anyways, uh, so last week my stone that I was working on was one, and then so I have another one I'm working on. So I want to have two separate stone medicine videos that I'm going to be um, posting. But my ultimate goal is like by 2023 or sooner, hopefully, I want to have, uh, I want to open my first healing center here in Arizona. And my ultimate goal is to have at least five of them in Arizona, all oh, over wow. the state. So I have, uh, <laughs> um, but this is, this is where my baby steps are, mm -hmm. is starting here and mm -hmm. starting with the videos and, um, and starting with um, just the stone medicine for now. Um, but I have like, tons of ideas that I've been writing down for like the last two years if not longer so I want to try to get all that stuff into one place also so mm. that's what I'm going to be working on this year is getting cut like I guess getting all of that into one space and then kind of like picking each one and making all of that all of them into either videos of some sort or sound uh of some sort like you know, um, guided meditation, stuff like that. But yeah, yeah. short term goal, uh, January 18th, awesome. I want to have at least two videos up that are not just, I want to do a little bit of editing on them. Like the last two videos that I posted, zero editing, they were just very like, you know, I just was just trying to get that courage to just get out there and just throw it out there. Mm -hmm. So um, <laughs> anyways, but that's, that's where I'm at right now. Cool. Cool. Awesome. That's exciting to hear. And again, you know, like powerful. Um, I think, you know, you're talking about releasing two videos on the same date. Uh, I would kind of just kind of suggest even spacing that out a little bit. And then again, you know, like creating content, you are just kind of getting into this habit where maybe it is like once a week that way. So you're just like creating that space for the audience to be able to develop a routine with you as well as to make sure that you kind of create like a backlog of content so that maybe, you know, you create like X number of videos, but then you're focusing on other stuff. And while you're focusing on other stuff, you're still releasing content at the same time. So I think if you, if you do really feel called to release two videos at the same time, I do think considering it's like the first of a series that can be kind of cool. Cause then person can be like, Ooh, I enjoyed this one. And there's one more and then they'll get excited for the next one that would come out. So I would just kind of sit with that, feel what feels right for you. I think both options uh, have, have like a purpose to them. So I, whatever you do, I think it's totally cool with that. And I did just also want to like check in in terms of, you know, creating this physical space. That's such a powerful idea. And oh, yeah. do you currently feel called to, in the meantime, perhaps being able to like organize local community mm, events? Yes. Yeah, That's actually, part of it? Okay. 
Um, I, I have been um, involved in a couple different spaces in Phoenix, but I am literally like 50 miles away from those spaces now since I purchased my home. And so um, now my um, I've contacted two different places now that are in my area, but in my area, it's not, there's not very many um, like-minded um, spaces mm -hmm. available. Okay. So um, my next step, since there is nothing like that, my next step is to create a meetup and to do it from my own home. Right, right. So that that's, still work. Yeah. yeah, that's where I'm going with that. But yeah, I mean, um, okay. I haven't actually done uh, like a, a like class or anything of my own yet. So in part of like making these videos, I'm also going to be making that part of like making that into a class type thing too and using cool. those scripts as a way to kind of like you know feed that cool cool yeah and that, that'd and, be a and great then, experience for you yeah and then also just to kind of clarify i think my my goal for january 18th is not necessarily to get it posted out into the public okay i think okay. it's more to like get it to to our table here okay. in this space cool. and and kind of get critiqued on it Perfect. Okay. And feedback. Sounds good so. too. Cool. Cool. Awesome. Sweet. So yeah, with the direction that you're moving, you've already been planting some like very powerful quantum seeds. And obviously with the direction of like creating a facility, that's like, that's a long-term vision, mm -hmm. but you're right. Yeah. I think, I think what's going to help with that now is just kind of like building that like individual brand that you're creating for yourself that will eventually be the foundations for you to kind of like launch into that next stage, that next chapter. So yes. yeah, no, I, I think, I think it's really cool that you're doing this and, and I can feel that you're like ready to be patient with it. Right. You're, you're, you're okay. Yeah. With that. So it's going to, that's going to be a key. Right. And, and not <laughs> that. So, but I think it's, it's a very valuable thing to be able to, to have because you know, the universe likes that. So. <laughs> yeah, no, I, uh, that, that feels good. That feels exciting. And just let me know as the videos are editing uh, where they're at and we can get some people to be able to help review with that and even just like help spread, like spruce, spruce it up a bit, if that's the right word. I think so. Okay. Cool, cool. Awesome. So yeah, no, that's cool. Did you have any questions at the moment? And no, I don't. Later? But I'm going to, with that, I'm going to say goodbye to everyone. Perfect. Jump into some other stuff. But thank you. And awesome. and also, Brendan, I just wanted to thank you also for this opportunity. This is, like, really awesome. Yeah. I mean, I've been, like, you uh, know, following sure. and watching you and stuff for a really long time. And yeah. <laughs> I'm always inspired by you. And, like, oh, thank you. I just, you know, I'm just grateful. Awesome. And we just, you know, keep, keep rippling those waves. So I know they're yeah, exactly. inspired by what you're doing. <laughs> So thank you as well. So yeah, cool. Thanks. All right. Awesome. I'll see you guys later. All right. Talk to you later, Pandora. See you. All right. Bye. Cool. Awesome. Okay. And uh, still have summer. Summer, did you want to go next and share a couple things of what you're feeling called to create? Yes, I suppose I shall. Um, I broke this down because that's how I have to do it. Um, I do want to say that I want to jump in Michelle's pocket and um, I'd like to possibly create some things with her. I, I know that she's super awesome and I'm like super excited. Um, so my things that I wrote down was like, I still want to do my random talking videos. I need to uh, focus more on like the message of love and sharing my love light. Um, and I do still want to use my voice to heal, but I need to overcome that self-confidence, self-judgment type of thing. Um, Cause I've, I've been called to do that and I need to do that. And that's something that I'm going to have to just do. Um, and I want to do some help with surviving and overcoming trauma, um, acknowledging mm. and embracing the stuff that we've gone through and the stuff that we are currently going through as, you know, a collective, but individually, you know, so many people have gone through so many terrible things. I want to um, mm. open up that space to let them know that they're not the only one. Yes, mm -hmm. so there may be spiritual people doing awesome things, but we've still gone through things as well. Um, my thing is, it's not just time to survive it's time to thrive get out there and shine your love light and be be who you can um i really have this self-confidence issue with myself because I, I judge myself more than anybody else like they see so many things that i don't see that 
I won't acknowledge and embrace in myself. So mm -hmm. maybe if I get out there and help other people talk about that, mm -hmm. um, I can help myself as well. I, there's people that I've been talking to for the past two years. I mean, like Wes with the Obsidian Blade, um, feel good, chatted with him quite often. Um, mm -hmm. And this people that at the beginning when they just started, I was too, but then I was literally living in a vehicle with children. So I wasn't able to go out there and do that. So I stepped back like hugely. Um, but now it's time that I need to go ahead and be that person because if I don't, I'm not doing this cycle again. We're ready to elevate and shift consciousness. So that's it. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Summer, for sharing. And absolutely, I think, you know, being able to focus on the idea of helping people heal through trauma is incredibly important and sacred work. And so I just wanted to be able to check in in addition to videos, getting out there, helping activate your throat chakra, getting the confidence built up on camera, which will happen. Do you feel that like you're looking to be able to earn your revenue through one on one sessions? Is, is that kind of what you're looking to do? Or even like small group sessions or? That would be a good thing to do. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. And I mean, I know that I can do that. I have so many different people where I will just reach out to them and they'll be like, oh my gosh, you totally just helped me. You made my day. This is, thank you. So how did you know this? Wow. So I really just want to put that out there. Like, Hey, I know we're all going through something. I'm here for you. This is me. And the reason why I hadn't done that before, I mean, I had, enc I've encouraged so many, mm, 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 so many awesome people out there and they're just boom doing it. And I'm like, yay, but I can't because I'm like, in this little hermit crab shell thing, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, so I just need to embark upon the journey and just mm -hmm. go for it because mm -hmm. I'm the one who's always like giving people that positive boom, 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 but yeah. not really embracing it. So I need yeah. to, I want to work one-on-one -on -one and I have so many people who will come to me and say, oh, hey, can you chat? And I'm like, well, yeah, I'm just doing another 15,000 things at one time, but sure, let's let's chat, you know, so. Yeah. I don't really know how to work into that, into making money, because it's really been such a silly thing for me, but it's yeah. a necessity day and age. Yeah, I think, um, I, I think, I think there's a couple, and, and again, we can talk more later, but, you know, I think with you, I think when you are able to get into the place where you're just like upping the production quality of your regular content with a little bit more consistency and kind of just like figuring out what it is that you want brand yourself with you know like let's move let's move forward a couple months into the idea that you are you know when people come to ask you if they can chat with you there is the expectation that they are doing it knowing that there is a financial exchange opposed to you just kind of like having this open door type concept which i think is totally noble but again you are worthy of being able to set that precedence where people know that they're actually monetizing like you're there's a monetary exchange for them to be able to get the value of the time that you're sharing with them because they know it's helping and especially if you've already got people doing this. So for you at this point, I would, again, you know, really kind of, and, and you, maybe even talk to Manders and I know people in the group that are kind of in the similar stage and even, you know, Michelle and anybody else, but like, just kind of like start thinking about, you know, like, how do I want to brand myself? What's a, what's like the name that I want to use to be able to refer to myself as? Like, yes, there would still be Summer as your name, but can you create like a title? That, that would be an explanation of, of what it is that you're offering as well. And again, I think that's something that we can brainstorm a little bit more, but I do feel that again, you know, with everyone here, I know that there's a lot of value in what you have to offer. And so just being able to refine your media a little bit more, and that doesn't necessarily, you know, sometimes it's like, it's like less is more kind of. So what may work for you is even just making videos that are just like a little bit crisper on the edit that may just be like these one minute things, and again, with some help with some editing will be enough to kind of stand out where people are just like, ooh, you know, like, like she's got value in her content. Therefore, she has value that she's offering as well. And I think that's kind of like what happens for a lot of people. And, and I've seen this a lot where a lot of people, they, they know that they have a lot of value in terms of their one-on-one -on -one stuff. But if the content that they're putting out in terms of the regular Instagram post is like, and I'm not trying to say subpar, but it's just like clearly amateurish and again not in like a judgmental way but it just is what it is then like it's harder for people to kind of like invest themselves unless they really already know who that person is but it's a mindset thing where when we see that professional content with that extra degree of kind of like 
you know, crispness and, and clarity and, and, and just like intention, then that allows people to just be like, Ooh, you know, like I want to be, this person's professional. I want to be involved with them. This person, you know, in their mind, they kind of like almost start to see, you know, the content creators as like icons and, you know, mini celebrities in a way where they're just like, dude, I love your videos or, you know, woman, I love your videos. And I can't believe I get to be able to connect with you. So I think for you, Summer, and, and really for everyone here, you know, for Michelle, for Lori, for Erica, everybody else who is in the chat at this point, really kind of like step into that vibration. And again, like the word stoic came up earlier. Step into that vibration where like you feel like you're already that celebrity. And, and by celebrity, like I'm literally kind of referring to it almost in like the celestial sense, like not even celebrity in terms of like Hollywood, but like, you know, we think of Hollywood, we call them stars. Why do we call them stars, right? It's because they are actually icons of this kind of like bigger wisdom. So celebrity is kind of like this celestial energy that you're embodying and really kind of just like mentally begin to step yourself into that worth where instead you're just kind of like, and, and this isn't just you, Summer, I think this is for a lot of people where you're just kind of like, ooh, I'm going to put something out there, but, but maybe people won't like it. Uh, maybe they won't watch it. Maybe they don't think I'm cool enough type thing. But again, like with a little bit of polishing on your media, that really kind of just like helps set that extra vibration where you're just like, fuck yeah, I'm cool. Fuck yeah, I have value. Fuck yeah, I know my worth. And when you step into that vibration, people are just like, like, ooh, like, you know, I want to be yeah. involved with that. So, right. Yeah, yeah. So those are just some things on the top of my mind. So I, I, again, I think for you, uh, not only is it just kind of like figuring out what content you want to create, but I think it's a lot to do with the mindset that, that you're bringing into the content creation, you know? So does that make, how's that sound, Summer? Totally, totally tubular. Totally tubular, exactly. <laughs> Cool, cool. Awesome. All right, uh, Summer, is there anything else you want to Again, at this point, I think, Summer, maybe even for you, just, again, kind of create like a short, create like a list of maybe like 10 one-minute Instagram videos that you want to make, 10 Roger. topics that you want to be able to cover and start with that, you know, and then that those 10 videos could last you like, you know, that could last you like a month and a half worth of kind of routine, and then you kind of got your Instagram posts in between that and everything. So that would be a good place to start. So. Cool. Thank Sound you. good? Yep, awesome. yep. Thank you. Thank you. Sweet. Cool, cool. All right. Um, like I said, right at the uh, uh, Donio jumped in. Donio, I saw your message. You were looking to do some one on one stuff afterwards. If you're able to even just, if we can do some stuff right now, Donio, that'd be great for me because I'm going to be stepping away from the computer for a bit after this because okay. I'm going to need a break. But I'm totally available right now. So if you guys need to step out, you know, I honor you. Thank you so much. And, you know, go out there and kick some butt. And uh, Donio, and, and I will have time for just like general questions right after we do Donio. So, so if you want to stick around for that, absolutely feel free. Um, Donio, we were just talking before. First of all, we were just saying like three words on how you're feeling being here. And then just like two things that you're currently feeling called to create conscious media wise. Go ahead, dude. Um, cool. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, uh, I've, I've been kind of in and out and listening to people's mm -hmm. um, really uh, beautiful expressions. Um, Lori and Michelle, it's good. It's good stuff, Jim and I. Um, yeah, uh, I would say that probably curious, um, curious, excited, and maybe just grounded, or maybe I, I supportive. I think curious, cool. excited, and supported are my three. Cool. I dig it. Awesome. Cool. Awesome. Thanks, man. And a couple things that you're feeling. I'm sorry, you cut out. A couple, you... sorry, a couple, like a couple things that you're feeling. A couple things that I'm feeling called to talk about. I, I, to work on, like, sorry, like, also so to, yeah. So like, what are some production things that you're currently content that you're I creating see. or ways that you're branding I, yourself? Branding, creating. Okay. Um, yeah, so right now I have, I have writings and so I'm trying to, um, I would, I would, I mean, I'm envisioning, uh, like my, I have these, I have these astrology updates. So like, you know, 
planets are always moving. So um, what I'm envisioning is a, you know, a kind of a service where um, I'm just really able to give uh, very valuable uh, planetary updates. Mm -hmm. um, right now I'm working on like a, a 2019 series. I think I did Jupiter already. And then I'll probably just um, go from there and do, do all the other planets and, and what they're doing for the whole year. Um, and uh, yeah, so I have, I have this kind of envisioning of just doing that um, and then yeah. having that on, on Instagram. And then um, the thought was to maybe just do recordings and, and have like a podcast slash like YouTube recording where maybe it would just be like one, one, one or like five images or something like in a stream and just make it like a video, but just with my audio. Mm -hmm. um, that, that was the idea, but regardless, just, just getting out however I can. And then cool. um, also having uh, uh, actual um, like, I want to say uh, like different kinds of teachings, different kinds of like, like Dharmic astrology teachings um, that I would also have in either like a, like a video format would be best. Um, if not just audio in the, in the same way, um, like on YouTube or a podcast. So I'd say that those are the two kind of things that I'm cool. I'm, I'm, I'm working on. Um, for those of you who haven't heard me, I, I've, um, uh, I've been studying astrology sit, like since very early on, um, since I was like eight or nine, and uh, uh, I grew up Christian Hindu, so I've been I've been studying a lot of the um, the mystery schools and the ancient texts for a very long time, and just recently for the past five years, I've been studying Buddha, and um, not necessarily Buddhism, though I have studied I'm I'm studying that as well, but like the Buddha and what the Buddha like said and, and different kind of esoteric teachings that people don't know or talk about. And I've been translating a lot of this stuff into um, modern language. So that's um, a lot of the content that I, I'm looking to come out with. Cool, cool. Awesome, man. Yeah, I think that's great. And, you know, for what I'm thinking of, the first things that, uh, well, first of all, let me just check in with you um, on this. Um, in terms of revenue, where are you currently looking to be able to make your revenue? Is that going to be from one-on-one -on -one consultations or other stuff as well? Because I know you're so, I mean, some stuff about that. So the, so the revenue, um, what I'm really looking to get is I'm looking to create this revenue from um, like live classes that I have. Mm, like I have, okay. I, like I, 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 there's this interesting opportunity. I feel it's it's slipping the the more time I I kind of waste on it, but. Uh, there's a space that, th that this lady gave me for every Thursday and um, it's a great space to teach classes. So I was thinking, I don't, you know, how, however that works, but just get, okay. you know, get, get, get five or so people in there, start doing classes every day. Okay. And, and that would just be like, you know, a simple, I don't know, $10, $20 thing or whatever. Yeah. And then, um, and then creating an online course. So creating material for the course and then trying to set up, you know, some kind of you to, you to me like thing, or even my own website, probably yeah. someone else's, um, and then have that be a revenue. And then, um, yeah, and then try to get like, essentially what I need, need around 32 hours a month for this to be at all sustainable, mm -hmm. um, of, of just personal readings. And um, so the idea was just to try and, and get like a good um, uh, uh, audience from mm -hmm. the Instagram and from the YouTube yeah. um, to try and get those as, as many readings as possible. So yeah, yeah okay, that's cool. kind of what I was. Cool. Perfect. Okay, cool. That's the full picture. And yeah, I, so things that are coming from mind to me here, I think like astrology thing is going to be something that people are looking for. And yeah, there's like a bunch of people out there that do provide similar services. So I think with you, mm -hmm. I think finding a way to be able to brand yourself that stands out a little bit in terms of how you present your astrology. So, you know, like instead of it just being like, hey, this is this is astrology. It's it's not so much just that it's, it's the way you present the astrology. It's your energy that you bring into it. So even without having to get anything too crazy, just like really, you know, making sure that like when you're showing up for your recordings and your stuff and your posts and everything like that, that you're bringing in like this very kind of like lively energy 
you know, something that even people will be able to resonate through when they're even reading it. And so with what we're creating through this co-op, and this is something that I know you came into the meeting a little bit late, but I'll just summarize, is that what we're doing is that through the main website, people have the available option for them to be able to feature their content through the main website, which I'll be helping curate. And so one thing that I, I want to be able to like invite you to be able to think about this right now is the idea that you know within the website we've kind of done this in the past and actually michelle was also someone who was working on a similar thing and this wouldn't stop her from doing something similar but having these kind of like you know bi-monthly or monthly astrological reports that would be you know presented through the paradigm to central website that of course link people back into your work and so that could be something again you know because i think at this point your objective is to start building your audience as it is with everyone and to start continuing to build that relationship and then out of that that's where you're getting your individual clients and there's another idea i want to mention in a second but yeah i think just like you know this could be that astrological monthly report it could be like on the full moon and the new moon or maybe it's just once a month that could be a very that will be that can be a very valuable thing for us as a community because a lot of people as this becomes a regular thing and, I, and again i want to be able to give you this opportunity because nobody else has quite jumped in on it just yet to be able to know that you know once a month paradigm shift has these really cool astrological reports and that kind of becomes this habit that they develop and again you know this is something we didn't talk about it quite at the beginning and i kind of did but essentially what we're doing you know creating content as a community through the Paradigm Shift Central website, we're developing this relationship with the audience where it's almost like a dopamine release where they know that they can show up to the main website and receive inspiration and receive insight and receive guidance, opposed to it being like, ooh, you know, like, I, like what's it going to be today? Like, is it going to be like weird political banter? Like, I don't know if I want to read that. With us, you know, really focusing on that concept of creating inspirational, educational, and entertaining content, you create this relationship so that people show up to it expecting something that they know they're going to get and that what they're going to get is inspiration and again you know just like insights and everything and so just planting that seed for you you know like start thinking about that and that's something that literally since the website's like going to be ready in in the very near future if you want to start creating a packet you know something for that where you're writing a decent report about the next astrological movement such as like you know the full moon coming up would be the next one uh Totally. Please feel free to go into that. And then again, you know, even if you want to be able to create a video of it that could entirely just, you know, it, it, maybe if you're at the point where if you're comfortable being on camera, that's cool. If you're not comfortable being on camera just yet, I think even just having it purely as audio is absolutely totally an option. And the other idea that I want to be able to mention, and this goes for everyone and, and, um, Oh, Michelle's not in here, but I'll talk to her about it later. But for everyone here, you know, there is there is the very powerful idea, and you kind of already talked about this in the physical sense of like creating classes and people coming. But there is this idea of anyone here creating, you know, like a, a two-hour private lecture that they are selling and people are taking part in for an admission price of like ten or twenty dollars, and you could set like a limit on it where there's maybe only like a hundred people. Uh, who are allowed into this broadcast. And so it's kind of like this exclusive thing, but what they're getting out of it is say, for example, like an introduction to how understanding, how to shape their life with, with astrology or something like that, you know? So it is kind of like this mini course. And then out of that, everyone there would also have the invitation to, to be able to work with you individually. And you could also provide them with like a discount. You could provide them with some sort of additional perk that would entice them to follow up with you and continue to be involved. So yeah, the idea of doing like a monthly report through your own stuff, you know, you're posting it on your own blog, but then you're also featuring it to the Paradigm Shift Central website would be very powerful. And then again, building the audience, bringing people back to your stuff for individual readings, and the idea of doing the online classes uh, as well would just be some of the things that, that come to mind for me off the top of my head, as well as like the physical classes, if you're feeling called to do that as well. Uh, how does that sound? So yeah, far? I mean, yeah, that, that, that sounds very interesting. Um, uh, I, I'll have to get with you on the dedication to mm -hmm you know, the, the bi-weekly or, or sorry, bi-monthly or, or monthly mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. Um, and, and a, a large part of, uh, my process right now is, is like divine timing and, and an organization. So I'll really have to mm -hmm. kind of fill that out. But, but I, but I love that idea in a, in a vacuum. 
Um, and I would, and I would absolutely love, you know, love to have that and, and like, and love to work with you and, yeah. and, um, and like the whole team on, on that and give that as a service. I mean, I, ideally, ideally I would have like, uh, you know, like a really sort of adequate, comfortable amount of energy that I would just be giving to like giving value, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just, just like putting out content. And then the rest of that time would be like just creating my service and actually giving yeah. people, you know, readings. Totally. Um, totally. And, 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 and the teaching. So it's, it's, it's a lot, you know, and, um, mm -hmm. and unfortunately I haven't, you know, the, the, the function machine isn't quite there yet. The, the quote unquote mm -hmm. business isn't quite there yet. So, mm -hmm. um, that's kind of, that's kind of where I'm at, but yeah, I, I, I love, yeah. I love that idea. And I love the idea about, um, you know, doing like the, the paid lectures, Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, that's like, I, I'm not calling it a lecture. I'm, I'm calling it a workshop, but uh, yeah, essentially mm -hmm. I'm, I'm on the exact same page and, um, yeah, yeah if, I'll have to, I'll have to talk to you on that too and see if there's some way, I mean, I maybe, maybe like Google Hangouts or something like that, but yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm totally down w whether it's live or online, like, mm -hmm. like paid, paid workshops with like a certain, certain amount of people. Yeah. yeah that's, that's kind of where yeah. I'm at. So weird. Awesome, man. Yeah. And for a lot of us as creators over the years kind of gotten into again where we just kind of give everything we got and we put it out there and we hope people like it and everything like that but i think now we're kind of at that stage where we know we have this awesome value we give them a preview of what we got and then we invite them to be able to support the rest and and knowing that they're getting something out of it and they're supporting a creator who they enjoy so i think you know even for you just again you know starting with those seeds I think, uh, you know, like, yeah, like the monthly astrological report, if that's something you feel called to to begin preparing, that is totally, you know, I give you permission to do that. And I'd love to be able to help post it through the main website. And then again, even just like beginning to think, like if I am doing an online lecture, that's say, you know, literally a two hour thing with a presentation and then Q&A at the end, what would that be? What would I be offering? What are like the key kind of points that I'd be working through? And I'm sure you already got like an idea of what that would look like. So I think even just getting that in an organized document online would, again, be the steps towards helping crystallize that. And then once that's ready, again, that's where like, yeah, let me know. You can help like package that in a way that would be able to, you know, bring people to you to be able to reciprocate that value. So yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Great, oh, cool. Thank you. Sweet, awesome. Cool, man. Well, again, and and we can chat some more, but yeah, uh, I, I feel really cool. I, I feel really good. I feel that idea is really cool about just being able to do those those one on one type things. And again, like honestly, it could be something where you could do it, and then you could do like a similar version of it the next month for the people who didn't get in it the month before. So you might not have to like completely rechange everything, you know. So you can kind of you know just rebranding it. But yeah, no, I think there's a lot of value in in what it is that you're already offering. So that's cool. Just totally. find a way to monetize. So sweet. Yeah, awesome. exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I, value, so. I, I, I definitely plan on, on, on making those, those workshops like dynamic mm -hmm. because it's, you know, it'll, it'll, it like, for instance, it'll be something like, um, uh, how to find the energy of wealth, like yeah. in, in, you know, like in, uh, I don't know how to say it, like how, how, to, how to find wealth in your life right now or something like that. Like that'll be the class. Okay. But, okay. but the content will change because the, the it, what I'm, what I'm really teaching is how to look at where the planets are. Yeah. So obviously the planets will have changed, you know what I mean? So the class will always be different, but I'm, so I'm, I'm hoping right. to, to make those okay. kind of workshops dynamic. Like that. Cool. 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 Awesome, man. Yeah. I keep changing. They keep providing you with it. So it's perfect. Exactly. <laughs> cool. Sweet, man. Is there anything else? You yeah, um, no, yeah, that's it for now. Thank you. I, I appreciate you. Um, chatting with me awesome likewise cool. i want to okay. say that like gabe i think your voice is awesome so if you did like a talking oh podcast gosh, yes. like vimeo like we don't have to see you i mean i see you anyway but like <laughs> your voice is super chill oh, man super i think you cool. could curse yeah. at me and i'd be okay with it so if yeah. you did yeah. like talking things on vimeo or podcast that'd be awesome man yes totally totally <laughs> a very very powerful absolutely so yeah, people are paying money to listen to me. Thank so. you. <laughs> cool. Sweet. Okay, so moving into the took a little bit longer.
but it, it was worth it. And I just want to be able to thank everyone for being here. I know that we're going to just keep going out and kicking butt. And again, if you need to reach me one-on-one, -on -one, just let me know. Before we wrap this up, just anybody got any sort of last quick questions or even just gratitude that they want to express, please feel free to do so. And then we'll conclude the meeting. So. Namaste. Love you guys. Yeah, namaste. You guys, you guys namaste. are awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm feeling gratitude, man. Appreciate your time. I appreciate everybody. Totally. Inspiration. Thank you. We Thanks. are we are one. So it's all it's all the same work. So. <laughs> okay. Cool. So no questions. Just concluding. We're good. Oh yeah. All right. Okay, everyone, yeah, join me in saying saying farewell to everyone who tuned into the future, including your other co-op members and the Patreon supporters. So. Thank you, everyone. We love you. Adios. Howdy. Adios. Bye. Bye. See you next time. Much love. Bye. 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 B